Friends, I want to share with you an amazing story with a powerful message for all of us. In honor of the Lubavitch Rebbe's wife, Rebbe Zinchaya Mushka Schneers, in a blessed memory, whose birthday, 120 years, we mark uh, tomorrow. Here it is. The Lubavitch Rebbe would ask um, the, um, the attendant of the Lubavitch Rebbe's wife, in her late uh, 80s, she was elderly, to take her for a trip, a drive, to get some fresh air to Long Island, a bit away from the uh, hustle and bustle of where she lived in Crown Heights. And uh, they went on. And as they're driving one day, um, the road was blocked. The road was blocked. And they had to take a detour, another, another route in a very uh, unusual way. And as they're going slowly on this detour, she sees and she hears a lady, I guess in Russian, uh, screaming or crying. And at the, as they got to the end of the block, Rebbe Sinchai Mushka tells the, uh, the attendant, do me a favor, go back to the house outside where she's crying. There was a big, big truck with boxes outside. Apparently she was being evicted due to not, be paying, not paying rent for many, many months. And the Rebbeson asked, asked him to ask more information to see what's going on. And that's what happened. She was being evicted. And the Rebbeson asked, the attendant asked, how, please, more details, how much is, is, is owed? And he asked. And the, uh, the amount that was owed was $7,000. This is U.S. and this is in the 1980s, early 1980s. A large sum. And, um, and she asked, if I pay a personal check, will that be accepted? And if yes, would you mind if all the boxes are returned back and slept back into the house for the lady, free of charge? And uh, the marshal uh, said yes. Of course, we'll have to make sure the bank clears the check that there's money there. And after um, after he did, it was clear. Mrs. Schneerson, no problem. There's money there. A personal check. She gave. She wrote out out the check for seven thousand dollars. And she went on. And she asked the driver, the attendant, please go 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 quickly because I don't want her to, hear her to know. You know. But what, when, and who, so it should be quiet. And uh, the attendant was, was, was stunned as he drove away. And she realized and saw that, that he was stunned. And she explained herself, listen to this. She said, my father, the previous Lubavitch Rebbe, when I was a child, explained to me the idea of divine providence. Everything is from God. And when something happens in an unusual way, there's, there's got to be a message if we listen closely to it. And when we pass by the truck with all the boxes and the lady is crying, I, I, I thought to myself, what, what is the message for me? It's got to be a message. And I connected it. Here it is. My father told me many years ago that when something unusual happens, there's a message. And when we took the detour, I realized the message is that I should do something about it. And she wrote out a check of $7,000 US to a stranger. And I think the message for us is, is pretty, pretty powerful. We've all taken, I guess, some kind of a detour, if you want to call it. With COVID-19 for the past year, it's been a detour. And hopefully um, all of us can take some message from this detour. Not all of us can write a check out on the spot of $7,000, but all of us, <clears throat> all of us can do something, can be kinder to each other. We all can be kinder to our spouses. We can be more charitable. And in the merit of us being kind to each other, definitely God will reciprocate and be kind back to us and shower us with God's blessings. May it be so in a revealed way. Amen. Thank you.